Hey there, YouTubes. This is Grimweird. I am going to start an Enigmatica 2 Expert playthrough for Minecraft. Um, this mod pack is uh, it's an Expert Level 1. Um, there's lots and lots of mods in it, um, a couple dozen at least. And they're uh, lined up to all be interconnected. So uh, there are gates, there are quests you have to do. Um, the recipes have all been modded to make things more hard and to make things more interconnected. Um, those recipes can be as basic as you get half as much planks and half as much sticks out of wood and the vanilla tools don't work so you have to use Tinker's construct tools to uh, do all your mining and stuff. Um, all the way up to, uh, you know, using immersive engineering um, components to do your thermal expansion um, recipes. So they've interconnected a lot of things and uh, they, uh, the mod is... Uh, I am not an expert. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, I haven't played much Minecraft in the last five years, so I haven't actually played with a lot of these mods. And even the ones I have used before, like um, Thomcraft, have changed quite a lot since the last time I looked at it. Um, I did do some quick uh, work on this mod pack to see if it was something I was going to like. Um, and I've had like a few world starts and sort of gotten my feet wet and gotten a feel for how things work. And I've progressed, you know, a ways through all of the gates. Um, and started a couple of times, but then I thought to myself it would be fun to capture this for posterity. So I keep finding myself trying to remember what I did in the past and how I built things in the past and what I like and what I don't like. Uh, but I don't have those game files anymore and I don't have any videos that uh, I can refer back to and reminisce. And since I'm recording it for myself, I might as well record it and try and put it on YouTube and see if anybody else gets a kick out of it. Um, I am not an expert at YouTube either, so please bear with me. I tend to ramble, like I'm doing now, um, and talk too much and say things over and over. Um, but uh, I do also have a tendency to research the heck out of things. Um, so as I am learning... I'm sure I will come up with some tips, and if you are thinking about getting into this mod pack or haven't played Minecraft in a while and are thinking about getting into a heavily modded uh, mod pack like this, um, I might ha be able to uh, show you some tips that make things go better. And I'll try and capture what I do in each episode and put it in the description so that uh, people get a feel for, you know, if they're specifically looking for how I handled a certain problem or how I got to a certain place. Um, they'll be able to cut straight to that instead of listening to me babble for however long I babble. So without further ado, um, let's go ahead and create a new world. I have done a few of these over the uh, last few days, worlds, and sort of gotten a feel for this mod pack. Um, but I thought now I would start fresh again and um, go ahead and record stuff. So let's call this a Let's Play. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to break this up into episodes. I'm going to try to uh, keep the file size to a reasonable minimum. So I'll probably try and make each episode about 30 minutes or so. Um, and I might do a lot of uh, cut takes where I uh, say, OK, I'm going to go uh, scavenge for this and then we'll return, or I'm going to go mine for some gold, and then we'll be back, just to try and keep the uh, file size a little under control. So here we are, let's see where we're starting. That looks like an ocean monument right out there, so already things might be interesting. We're on the coast, which I generally don't like because that limits the directions. Oh goodness, we're on an island. Okay, this could be a bit uh, weird. This is actually going to make things a bit challenging. Um, I can see right away that we've got things going on. I see bubbles shooting under the water. So there might be a... Yep, there he is. There's a big old sea serpent out there. 
Um, and we've got sirens. I can see the little note symbols um, coming up off that little tiny island over there. Uh, the sirens are from the Ice and Fire mod that puts um, a lot of uh, dragons and monsters and whatnot into the uh, world. Um, so those were a very big shock to me when I tried out this mod pack a little while ago. But yeah, we're in the middle of freaking nowhere. There's some more sirens out there. I don't know what the hell's going on out there. Well, this is going to be a potentially rough start for a rough mod pack. Um, especially since those sea serpents gonna get, can get you, I think, if you get too close to the water. And we can make a boat and run for it, but uh, who knows. But at least we have a hamster, so everything's going to be alright. Ooh, and that sound, I think, is the sea serpent. Sort of rushing water sound. Well, um, this is going to be rough, uh, but I wanted a challenge, so let's have a challenge. So let's uh, talk uh, Princess Bride here. List our assets. Our assets are... Um, limited. So because the... Uh, Vanilla tools have no durability, and you can't really use them. You are sort of stuck uh, trying to get some a smeltery going ASAP, um, which requires clay, and usually this kind of area is not a good area to find some clay. i got plenty of sand and plenty of gravel, but I'm probably going to have to run off in search of clay. So that's probably going to be one of our initial challenges. We do have... Um, a hamster and we do have trees so we can make a boat and we can get out of here and we might just have to do that let's open our journey map real quick and uh, uh, let's uh, delete um, this fake map over here it's left over from my last game all that splashing is making me nervous because I know I was attacked on the shore when I was trying this earlier in one of the other worlds. I was attacked by that guy, um, but I don't know what he can do. I think he can spray water up at me to hurt me, um, and he, I think, can leap out on the shore at me. Um, so that's a little alarming. Um, anyway... We will live, or die, what have you. So first let's open our quest book and take a look at this. Um, if you're watching this video, maybe you're thinking about playing this mod pack too, and you want to know how it works and what it's like. Well, here you go. We've got better questing quest books here. Um, and it'll give you a feel for what's going on. So getting started is where we're going to start, oddly enough. Um, and this red thing is going to be our first task that we want to do, and it's a welcome task. So if we click on that, um, it welcomes us, and it gives us a little free reward. So all we need to do is check this to test that our system is working, and hit Claim, and we will get all this stuff. So if we back out a moment and open up our inventory, we have some leather armor and some stuff for the backpack um, mod to make some carrying capacity. I'm not really familiar with that mod. Um, I'm used to iron backpacks um, more, so uh, I'll either try to figure this out or I'll just ignore it for now. So continuing on here, if we go back, here's one of our first challenges. So um, there are a lot of harvest levels. Um, it looks like uh, 14, 15 harvest levels because um, you start out at zero. So the vanilla pickaxes don't work, so our first pickaxe needs to be a Tinker's Construct pickaxe um, that we can make in the part builder, builder out of flint paper, cactus wood, or stone. I think I'm being pushed around by a hamster. What's going on? Alright, 
There are multiple hamsters. They're breeding. What the heck? At least we know we're get what we're going to call this uh, playthrough. This is going to be the Hamster Island start. Um, so, um, you can't even really get stone um, because stone, I think, requires um, a flint pink pickaxe. So the only thing we can really use here that we're going to have available, I think, um, is either wood or flint. So flint comes from gravel, so let's go ahead and get that. Um, do we want to dare doing the vein mining thing? There's a, a mod called Ore Extraction, which a lot of people call Vein Miner, which was probably an earlier version of it. And basically you can hold down a key and hit, <laughs> hit one um, block, and all the attached blocks will do that. Um, things to watch out for is uh, it takes up a lot of your health to do or uh, to do that or a lot of your food energy um, but we now have plenty of gravel and plenty of flint so there you go and that was probably uh, pretty dangerous we could have let the ocean in which could have let the sea serpent in and we may have harmed the hamster but what the heck we are going to abandon this island and its hamsters at our earliest convenience so if we take a look, uh, we have gotten two out of two flint, and we can now choose. This is a choice reward, so I've got to click on one of these two. Um, I uh, looked at this a couple times the last two worlds I started, and uh, not really into a nether rack pan or a cactus sword. The cactus sword's an okay starting sword, but I think we can do better. Um, so I'm going to take the steel knife blade and just melt it down into a steel ingot later. So the other thing, did you know we have vein miner? Yes, we just saw that with the uh, with the uh, gravel that we blew up um, or excavation. So um, we're going to go ahead and um, use it on a tree. I will point out that you have to have something in your hand. It can be a quest book or a bed or a piece of food, but if you try and do the uh, vein miner thing with an empty hand, it doesn't work. You'll only get the one thing that you're attacking. So it's going to be dark here real soon. We are hungry and um, we're probably going to have to get out of here because there are no sheep, which means there is no bed. So here's one of those first things I was talking about. So Instead of getting the normal, I think it's four planks for one log, we're only getting two. So already things are a little harder uh, than we're used to. Other things that are also more difficult are like chests and furnaces. Just your basic starting stuff uh, requires a lot more um, energy and a lot more resources to uh, gather. We're going to go ahead and turn this crafting table into a Tinker's Construct crafting table. We're going to throw it down, and we're going to make a boat. I think the boat is the standard recipe. Yes. And I don't have an apple, um, but I think I better look for one just to see if I can get some food in me. Take a look at some of the plants around here. Do dark oak drop apples? I don't remember. Oak do. Let me mind that. Hey, did I see an apple go by? No, I did not. This is going to be a short playthrough if I uh, starve to death. Is there any more oak on here? Hamster. Bruce, eh, whatever, close enough. Um, let's open journey map again and sort of look like a bunch of leftover things from there. Um, so let's take a look and see where we want to head. A lot of deep ocean, a lot of ocean, a lot of ocean, a lot of ocean. I'm seeing a lot of ocean here. 
So we're going to have to do some serious traveling. Um, which direction do we want to travel in? There might be some ocean down here. Um, and some deep ocean and some more ocean. Wow. All right, well, this is, uh, this is fun. If I'd have known it was going to be like this, I'd have played Skyblock, for Christ's sake. Um, deep ocean, deep ocean, deep ocean. Carnivorous, carnivorous, no, coniferous forest. Highland, plains, grove, steppe, brushland, chaparral. Okay. We want to head that direction. So I think we want to head um, northwest. It's getting dark already. Um, I got my boat to make a quick retreat if I have to. Is there anything else I want to do on this beach before I run for it? I don't think so. I think we need to get the heck out of Dodge. I am going to go ahead and make a uh, waypoint on here. Just so that I remember that if I want to come back, um, there is an ocean monument out here near this island. So we're going to uh, mark that on our map in case we ever want to come back here, which I doubt, but hey, you never know. And um, yeah, with without further ado... I am either going to jump cut until um, I reach land. Oh, we've got a target. That is an astral sorcery thing off in the... Let's go ahead and make a run for that. See if the uh, sea serpent comes after us. Run! 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 I was going to jump cut until we made landfall, assuming that this was going to be sort of boring, but uh, we might as well see what's going on over here. Again, I don't want to get too carried away with the length and the file size of these uh, videos, because uh, I started doing that, and uh, I started doing that a bit, and um, the files were so big. Oh, there's some clay. Things are looking up, except for the creepers. Oh, joy, an Enderman. Do I want to try and wait for morning here or keep on going? What does things look like here? This is still a boring little island. We actually wanted to head northwest, not to this direction. Maybe we'll just keep on moving on. Sail until morning. Let's see what's off over here. Hey, that looks like real land, not an island. And that could mean sheep or a village, which is going to be a good place for me to get some wool um, and a bed. Actually, our start is so crazy here that I might just sort of just run around like crazy all night um, until I find a village, because um, the villages are an excellent way to uh, get a, a quick jump start in this pack. There are lots of beds and chests and uh, I may just die. Run! Serpentine! Serpentine! Hey, sheep. I wonder if the monsters will leave me alone long enough for me to uh, snag a couple sheep here. Die, sheep. Where'd you go? Feel the wrath of my boat. Going all titanic on that iceberg on that uh, sheep. Look, I'm a sea serpent. I'm coming after you. You 
cannot escape me. I will make a bed. Yeah. Where do you think you're going? Don't think you're going to escape, buddy. All right, all right. We have three wool. Score. Piece of cake. Easiest start ever. What could go wrong? Run away from the huge amount of monsters that have spawned behind me. Usually I'm not so timid about monsters, but... A lot, yeah. a lot of the monsters um, here uh, eat bed. Um, a lot of the skeletons and a lot of the skeletons and zombies spawn with armor, and uh, they take a lot of hits to kill, and uh, so that's not necessarily fun. Let me get in here and turn down the volume a bit, because that may have been too loud. Alright. Um, so another thing that was sort of new to me, but I'm sort of getting the hang of, is if I hit N, I can show my nutrition. So apparently if you don't eat a balanced diet, you can get debuffs on you. I don't know, that hasn't really happened to me. But... What is nice is that if you, as you eat a bunch of um, varied foods, so in this case you'll see there in the blue cyan um, lettering, not yet eaten, what does it taste like? Um, as I eat new and different foods, um, I actually, you can see now it says eaten, assisted in adding hearts. So as you do that, your... Um, your 10 hearts down here, your 10 hit points, if you will. Um, you'll start filling up an orange layer on top of that. Um, and when you have 10 orange hearts, it'll start filling up yellow, etc. And you can actually um, get a lot more hit points. So that makes uh, Pam's Harvest Quest. Uh, and here comes a dude. Let's just hop in the water. Um, so that makes um, making all the different types of foods from Pam's Harvest Quest um, interesting. That makes uh, just picking up everything you see and trying it, tasting it, a lot more interesting. So if you see me like attacking those uh, little gardens that you can find, uh, things like that, and uh, just picking up random turnips and peas and all sorts of random stuff that comes from those little uh, those little uh, gardens that are here and there and me picking up one or two of them and trying them all and that's what I'm doing I'm trying to get extra hearts okay I think well it's almost sunrise I was gonna try and grab a nap real quick but uh, Let's keep on looking around. So this does appear just to be another island. We've already got uh, our main emergency requirements taken care of and that was getting a bed so that we can uh, get some sleep. Now I think I read somewhere that in this expert mod um, if you sleep a lot it ramps up the difficulty um, and people talk about taking out bosses before you hit a certain amount of difficulty uh, I'm probably not going to worry about that because well I don't know what the hell's going on and I'm gonna have to sleep because I'm not an expert so there you have it another hamster Boy, did I tell you it's all about the hamsters in this world um, we got a pirate ship over there uh, what did I find? I found one of those and raided it. I think I found some sponge, so it was interesting to get a piece of sponge early in the game. That's not something you usually get your hands on. 
Not that it was super useful. I think I got some gold. Um, the cannons are dispensers, if I recall correctly, that had fire charges in them, so that was sort of nice. But right now it's full of uh, pirate skeleton archers, and uh, we aren't up for that quite yet. We don't even have a pickaxe yet. So, all right, it's getting to a point where we can actually um, actually move on with our lives here. So we still want to head, we're still out in the middle of an ocean, so we still want to head towards Grove. That's a good place to hang your hat. Um, lots of fruit trees and nut trees and etc. Magical forest is nice. Some highland is pleasant. Um, yeah, Savannah. Um, there's often a vis vi uh, village in a savanna. So we still are looking to go northwest. So let's head out. And hope we don't get eaten by a sea serpent or something like that. We can do a drive-by on this uh, pirate ship. That is pretty cool. Kudos to the uh, people that made that ship, and uh, it's pretty cool looking. There's little pirate hats on all of the skeletons. Funny. Sort of paying attention to the water sounds because... Uh, I don't want to be snuck up on by a sea serpent. Uh, there's some bubbles over there. That is probably a sea serpent over there. Very exciting. Let's go towards it. <laughs> That's a bad idea. We'll go around this island and then keep running away from it. Much better idea. Watching out for sirens. So the sirens actually take control of your character and make you run towards them, and then they try and eat you. So that's alarming. That's another one of those ice and fire things that I was like, oh, what the hell's going on here? All right, are we on an actual sizable piece of land now? Come on, get out of the boat. There we are. I think we are on a sizable piece of land. Alrighty, so now um, what are we trying to do? We need to make our flint pickaxe. We could do that pretty quickly, and we're also going to need a bunch of sand and we're going to need a bunch of clay so we can start making a smeltery. Um, I think I am going to pause right here and just check the time. Again, I don't want to make each episode too horribly long, um, but now we're sort of getting started. What I'm going to do is probably take a look around the neighborhood. Um, what I'd really like to do is somewhere out here, maybe in the savanna, uh, maybe in um, the steppe or the grove, there is probably a village. The villages uh, seem to be pretty common in this biomes o plenty uh, map that we are using. And there are so many good things in the village that it really pays to uh, go and raid those. Look at that, there's another damn hamster down there. They're everywhere. I think I only saw one hamster in the other couple worlds I tried. But anyway, um, so yeah, we'll uh, stop right here for a while and uh, either jump cut to something if something interesting happens, or we'll move on to the next episode. And if you're watching this, again, I'm not an expert at YouTube or at um, modded Minecraft, but uh, if you want to follow along while I play this, that would be cool. 
And if not, well then, thanks for checking it out. Um, and I will play on without you. Take that. <laughs> so uh, talk to you later.